Uh, nothing, uh, Girish. I just wanted to, I know, uh, because we have been all saying, just to the point, uh, what are the disadvantages that you have, the Indian hotels, as well as the, you know, from your everybody's perspective, challenges that the Indian companies face in uh, digital marketing? I wouldn't want to discriminate as Indian companies. Yeah. Uh, generally, I would yeah. put as the yeah. Uh, because, I would uh, put as the hospitality. Yeah, hospitality industry, industry based on in India because West is everything is a little more. That's what I meant. Sorry for uh, using the wrong words. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, there, there are a couple of uh, challenges that one is, as I earlier mentioned, we are still in the evolving phase as the uh, digital marketing as a separate uh, subject by itself. So one is the talent. You know how many marketing um, people are uh, trained and talented in hotel travel related uh, digital marketing specialists so that is one um, area where uh, we we need to see how we can improve on that second one is who is your target audience uh, every uh, brand has got different persons in market india is a diverse market across uh, various uh, states so it has got different potential, it has got different target audience, it has got different leisure market, it has got different mice segment. So we, our marketing efforts has to be more productive in digital media or in digital platform to showcase how much revenue that I can get for my investment. So these two are uh, vital to identify how we can sustain the digital uh, marketing investment and return on investment. This is as far as for the uh, guest and the revenue is concerned. Second aspect is for the employees. See, uh, when we talk of marketing, marketing is not just for the consumers. It is even for prospective work uh, place to showcase that I am a, my place is a great place to work. We have recognized employees um, uh, as a best employee of the month. Earlier, we never used to do that. Whoever does, everybody knows only within the four walls. Now, if employee get appreciated, uh, you can see him in LinkedIn, you can see that in Instagram, you can see that. So how uh, the hotel companies are promoting that as a culture over a period of time to showcase that even my place is a great place to work and that will motivate more people to get into um, recognition, True. you know, appreciation, motivation. So these are the few areas where we think that we can uh, do more. Okay, you mean to say that HR also can be a little more, uh, you know, digitalized nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, very uh, much. That is, that's a very, very good point. Much. Okay. And uh, I think now I'll go to, uh, like, you know, Prasad. Uh, Prasad, are you there? Just I know we all agree yeah, that digital yeah. marketing advantage, disadvantage, and everything has been learned. But my quick question I know everybody says that what are the must and unavoidable things that you need? You know, from a IT perspective, what are the unavoidable or uh, you know, uh, must things for digital marketing, hotels, and restaurants, or any fast food? Audience? Okay, so uh, when you look at uh, digital marketing for any business. The first thing is you need to have a digital presence before you think about the digital marketing. As uh, Girish uh, rightly said that, uh, you know, uh, the digital marketing is on an evolving stage for the hospitality domain. It's not only for the digital marketing, for the entire technology just in the evolving stage. And uh, though I have been with this industry for uh, more than two decades, I never seen that uh, technology being the main part of the business of the hospitality domain so far. So let's come back to digital ma marketing stuff. As I said, digital presence has to be there. So before you start the digital marketing, ensure that your hotel or your business has a website, a presence in the social media and uh, a presence in OTA. That is, uh, you know, uh, to get uh, distribute their revenue, I mean, distribute their inventory and uh, get the booking done and having the presence in the OTA. And the other thing is, even after having all these things, if you don't have a proper feedback system in the uh, internet or in the digital media, whatever you have done is going to be a waste. When I say proper feedback system is, um, just imagine if you are hearing about a hotel or any other uh, thing in the current scenario, the first thing what you do is you just go into your Google and uh, try to search for it. So if, if, you, if you hear about a particular hotel or a restaurant, 
I try to search for it. I try to reach out to them. No answer. What is the use of doing digital marketing? Or if you have visited a hotel or a restaurant, um, you di- uh, you had uh, dining there, you stayed there, and you put a feedback. The GM or the concerned person is not responding. So your digital marketing uh, gone waste. So the to summarize, you should be having a digital presence, and you should prompt it to respond to the queries or the feedback. This is the first thing you should do it when you think about the digital marketing. Rest, CPC, all those things are you know secondary. Okay, thank you. I think that makes another question for my Peter. Peter, uh, I want to know uh, because again a question. I've heard of a revenue management for the rooms. So, what is revenue management? Is it applicable only for the rooms, or is it applicable for FMB also nowadays? See, revenue management is applicable everywhere. But traditionally, when we talked about revenue management, it started with rooms because uh, typically hotels have borrowed this concept from airlines. Yeah, where know. you know, if a stop that a seat on an airline was the most perishable commodity on a particular flight, and then that con- concept was carried forward into hotels. Correct. So when it started, well, everybody looked at only rooms as a revenue stream, and then the others were considered ancillary streams. But there are many a hotel where you know food and beverage is a much higher revenue stream than rooms. Mm-hmm. So uh, you know revenue management applies to every revenue stream. See, okay. Uh, rooms. You know earlier we, 25 years back we talked about ARRs. Now nobody talks about ARR anymore. Everybody talks about revpar. Oh, and similarly, in a restaurant, you talk about, you know, APCs, APCs. or you know, you talk about covers. So, but there is a concept of revenue per square feet. Mm-hmm. So which oh, okay. It is typically a revenue management concept. It applies everywhere. It is uh, first of all an organization or us feeling the need for having it. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. So it applies right. everywhere. Okay. Whole so, concept of revenue management is to kind of kind of increase the revenue. It okay. Started so that, as uh, you know, increasing yeah. the yield. Yeah, yeah. So it applies yeah. everywhere. everywhere. So you mean to say that the revenue management for FMB as well as hotel rooms can be connected with the digital marketing, right? It can be it can be useful too to connect both because Absolutely. we are never because Absolutely. starting from the software perspective, nobody would have thought in that process. You know, we have different system revenue management tool. We have a website. We have a different uh, PML system. Uh, all these things. Now I think we need a good system to uh, have one system or an integration coming to identify your, uh, you know, a model where you need to understand your customer identity, customer preference, their, uh, you know, spending power, and all this thing has to be grouped. So with the digital marketing platform, can do wonders. Maybe long going forward, with, that should be the answer. Sure. Correct. What I would look at it as saying that you know, in revenue management, we are managing the demand or we are managing the need. Digital yes. marketing helps to bring that. You know, see, you are handling the queries that are landing to you. You are deciding on what is to take in revenue marketing. Okay. Digital marketing is helping you to get those queries. Mm-hmm. Get those okay. Must so be combined together to have uh, optimum results. Okay. All right. So, guys, uh, I just want to ask individually, what are the strategies? For, especially, I start from Rujai because I think hotels, uh, food and beverage outlets. What are the strategies you have in mind in 2021? I know it's a very tough situation. You sub- said about takeaways, dining, and uh, as well as uh, deliveries. So, uh, what are the I mean, some plans that you have devised to you know be in the market because the lockdown is going and. and Believe me, not only you, even the biggest hotel chains have started delivery now. That's what I hear. Recently, the bigger chains also have started uh, delivery as a one unit, you know, uh, in Kerala and even in Hyderabad and all. So, so you know, considering that FMB business, there are a lot of concepts coming up like Cloud Kitchen and uh, what is that strategy that you have thought? Then I'll ask the hoteliers also individually what are the strategy. Then I will ask Thomas to pitch in his ideas. Yeah, so. Um... You know, this is uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, this pandemic time has uh, helped us to really reflect in terms of, uh, you know, uh, like you rightly said, you know, uh, you know today every, uh, you know, five-star hotel uh, has started delivery in Bangalore and, uh, you know, I don't know how successful it is, but then, uh, you know, everybody is looking at uh, how do we keep like, the, the life going because uh, everybody is trapped. Right, uh, there's a there's a huge decline in terms of consumption, and you don't see it uh, kind of uh, coming back to normal at uh, you know in the near uh, short span of time as well. So, uh, you know, few th- for us, uh, you know, we are kind of an asset light model, so that kind of helps. 
but uh, you know specific to the question that in terms of what is the strategy yeah so lot see i think fundamentally the business model has to be strong you know if you have a very strong fund business model and a very <coughs> you know a clear uh, product segmentation you know which is uh, you know positioned rightly in terms of promotions or price you know uh, and which is uh, which has the trust of consumers i think these are these are all faces which would only further strengthen you so you know as a strategy which uh, which helps during these kind of time is that one is uh, like prasad said you know a lot of uh, investment that is currently going in in terms of the technology part of it. so today uh, you know we we have a food app right which was never there before so in the last 2 uh, years uh, you know many of the, the 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 food operators have started having their own app they have uh, contactless deliveries they have uh, you know even today uh, you know we we partner with uh, players who with players who can actually come to the store uh, just scan uh, he can uh, you know pick up the, uh, the the products that he wants make the payment as well through the app and uh, you know you know kind of take the product and go so basically you know an app uh, in terms of ensuring that the the, the, the whole uh, uh, right from you know product making to product service becomes contactless then in terms of ensuring food safety at every point of time at the same time you know maintaining other covid protocol uh, be it in terms of sanitization or be it in terms of social distance and you know use of masks and such things definitely uh, th- this is something which is a must in terms of uh, ensuring continuity in the business but having said that yes to connect with this to the digital media see uh, one of the i think the way i see it one of the uh, you know, all of us have three objectives when it comes to marketing you know one is to create awareness uh, because you need your consumers needs to uh, you know what what do you stand for so uh, first is to, of course to ask who's your customer and once you know who's your customer it is about uh, targeting so digital, digital media gives you a very clear advantage over the traditional media when it comes to targeting consumers right so you can target and then uh, next is uh, you know you build awareness about uh, uh, you know about your your company your brand your offerings then second is in, in terms of giving a reason for these consumers to come to you so that's about you know how do you maximize trial opportunities and third uh, is about how do you create a liking towards the brand so when you t- clearly see from a framework of digital marketing you know it it, it kind of helps you uh, build awareness it kind of uh, you know gives uh, uh, an advantage to you know whether it is about pushing promotions or whether it is giving sampling coupons uh, things like that which would uh, uh, increase food falls to retail outlets and third and the, you know finally it's about engaging with consumers which i think is a, is a one of the biggest challenge because you know to you know a few years back we were all counting on how many facebook followers do we have right and today that's not a success matrix at all because uh, end of the day what what really matters to you as an operator is you know what is the footfalls right so how uh, how are you going to engage with these consumers how um, you know how can we and uh, you know this is this is more importantly it's a listening media so today uh, unlike other uh, conventional media today you have a platform where you can actually listen to your consumers and i think all the brands should probably talk less and listen more right when you start listening to consumers you really understand where do they come from what do they need right and then you can start working on it so so these are the kind of uh, you know uh, takeaways that uh, we've had uh, you know after the pandemic or during this pandemic and uh, all our strategies basically looking at all this and then seeing how do we counter this thank you anand has already said his strategies in between you know or would you like to add anything more or should i take some opinion from girish uh, anand to say and as i said the strategy some strategies of wedding planning and everything you said anything more from your side anand or should i go to irish to save time your call well uh, just a small i don't know i mean the please one, please please just just, just a, you know like what rije was saying the only thing that i have a bit of a problem with uh, digital marketing social media and so many other things is that this whole voice of customer has become a bit of a challenge in terms of you know handling yeah. because <laughs> people now tend to kind of misuse it to the extent that they literally threaten you on your face saying that listen you better do this for me if not i'm going to you know write yeah, this yeah, about yeah. you or yeah. talk this about you that is a bit of the disadvantage that this whole social media and the reach of social media has kind of created for us yeah. uh, in terms of brand repute you know to be able yes. to manage that very very truly said and yeah. <laughs> just just want to add on that. <laughs> no, no, very true, very true. 
yeah see as far as strategies are concerned like what i initially started saying you know to my mind i think be flexible is probably the mantra today to be able to accept any challenge and try to be as flexible as possible to overcome it uh, peter was talking about uh, cost control this is something that everybody has had to get into irrespective of you know whether you are like the top hotel the the, the best revenues that you've had irrespective of that everybody have had to take salary cuts everybody has had to take you know let go of people contracts etc etc so that's something that we have had to uh, go on and continue to live with uh, that is you know uh, for hotels like ours um, you know we can talk about uh, takeaways uh, you know we can talk about i mean we also do a lot of it like taj just uh, launched cumin um you know uh, someone like an itc grand chola 640 room uh, five star deluxe property had never even thought of doing something like that but then today they are willing to sell them for 4 rupees uh, cpai and giving takeaways mm-hmm. at um, you know 1999 you get breakfast lunch and dinner mm-hmm. uh, that kind of you know pricing mm-hmm. which is unheard of earlier so things have changed but then you know those are not really sustainable for us because mm-hmm. we are a capital intensive uh, organization a capital right. intensive industry we have invested such a huge money in terms of maintaining a place like this cutlery crockery glassware manpower it, the works mm. i mean I it, life has to go back to at least a semblance of what it was earlier for us to actually get back to you know uh, breathing normally i understand for survival so mm. uh, for me the only only tactic is to survive mm. somehow until you know uh, we have we got this pandemic under some control we get the country vaccinated to a fairly large extent and life at least to some extent goes back to what it was it's also you know the priorities also like rujaya said earlier hygiene sanitation was they taken a back seat now everybody has to prove that you know they are so a lot of uh, time is going on there Uh, I mean, equipments have been sanitized fairly. Blouses, this thing, and the staff training has to be done. You know, all these things. And you know, people don't understand. The, it has to be double X, double X factor for the sanitation hygiene factor. In fact, what um, we <laughs> tell our staff also, we train them is that you know earlier in in hotels, especially in the higher ones, uh, we were supposed to do all this. so uh, being the scene so right customer mm. don't need to see it they just yeah. need to see a absolutely clean neat stuff today Correct. you have to do the cleaning in front of the customer okay, exactly. to convince them that yeah we're doing it yeah right? yeah yeah that's they true. walk in they close the door exactly. and somebody has to go and wipe the door exactly ah, okay so they do it <laughs> that gives them that added confidence it's just like that very so true. things very change true. you know very true. customer perceptions yeah. change expectations yeah, i know expectation girish your points please your strategies from person friend dollar so what what's more important uh, strategies that hotels you always have a digital marketing team that investment should not be part of the cost control that's the most relevant thing even though you may sanitize your rooms your fnb you may have all those uh, physical activity that is going on it requires to be reassured in the uh, social media platform that we are doing this um again as rejoy put it rightly you know we should talk less and listen the feedback more use that as a platform to get feedback from the customers on regular basis um, yes there will be some situations wherein you know we may uh, get bit off guard like anand was mentioning with some customers uh, we would have to evolve that so investing in digital marketing team a dedicated one is the first important uh, strategy that we need to evolve that's number one number two Prasad mentioned uh, a, a good point about technology. You know, in hotels traditionally we are known for only two technology. One is micros, other one is opera. Apart from that, <laughs> the rest of the technology is not not many of us know about it. Right. Nowadays, digital marketing medium has got so many software applications that has come in where uh, we can use that to target to your customers. Who are all your customers? What sort of um, uh um, you know uh, data analysis that you can get from that particular market what works for goa what works for resort where are my resort customers coming from how should i plan my uh, digital yeah. marketing uh, uh, subject to address to those audience how can i tune that all these softwares are available in the market now mm-hmm. many companies are doing it there is an investment in that uh, these softwares they have upgraded over a period of time there is a lot of investment there so digital marketing team requires a uh, updated technological support to keep them moving and further evolving in those two process once we get these two things right 
uh, the website management, the social media management, the engagement, all these things fall in place as part of the tactics and then it moves, uh, you know, uh, on day-to-day basis. These are the few things that I would uh, put, yeah. put across. Thank you. Thank you, Girish. I think it's over to Thomas. Thomas, uh, since you're a vendor, you must have heard of what are the requirements and everything. Thomas, you have been silent and hearing all our discussions before I wind up. Thomas, can you come on a video mode? Uh, you must have heard the strategies and uh, from your perspective, how can you add value? Because you have taken a big uh, you know, decision to come on a digital, you want to support the hotel industry because you have been doing it before. And have different medias today, different tools in fact. You have your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube channels. So you can make use of all these channels to reach to the public. And the second thing is that maintenance of the property, irrespective of the fact that uh, the operation is not happening or the lockdown uh, is a challenge. Uh, this is such a huge investment. So definitely you have to maintain the property not only maintaining the, maintaining the property, I mean, basically updating the general crowd that we are maintaining this property and we are ready to welcome you back. Again, uh, it is not a time where you can go and advertise directly. This is the time for an indirect marketing. So how do we do the indirect marketing? Indirect marketing, uh, one of the options is to think of a welfare, giving attention to the welfare activities. When I say welfare activity, it can be, uh, it can start with the welfare of the employees and certain commitment to the 
uh, social commitment kind of stuff so when you start the welfare activity with the employees uh, this is again an ideal time where you can give necessary trainings for the employees you can groom them so that they will be ready and fit for the next innings also uh, social commitment uh, when it comes to you can uh, do some kind of activities to honor the health workers and those kind of activities will capture the attention of the media you can also promote it in your own platforms what all you are doing uh, to support the health workers and the third thing is the customer database uh, segregation or analysis or consolidation you have your uh, old customers you have your regular customers you can in fact uh, think of acquiring some frequent travelers database you can allocate this this form in or a, or a staff force uh, to reach to each and every uh, every uh, customer or your old customer you can reach personally also today the technology is there where you can uh, Uh, reach to each and everybody you can start with the courtesy call also saying that i mean finding out uh, whether they are safe at home if they are finding some kind of a challenge during this pandemic uh, whatever support uh, as a part of your social commitment if you could do something for them personally then they will feel that they you are not just a hotelier you are not just a resort you are you are a, a friend in need kind of a entity so when we are talking about the database uh, uh, reaching to each family uh, who are associated to you finding the details of their uh, profile uh, details in the database uh, say for example their uh, birthdays uh, anniversaries all that and uh, getting back to them uh, with uh, some kind of wishes their uh, birthdays and uh, anniversary dates this is the way you can connect to them personally and maintain them as your customer on a long run definitely the digital uh, yeah technology uh, is yeah thomas i think they have been doing this but then they are having a challenge of reaching out to the market in most of the hotels maybe the five star chains are all doing it but the three star of course your suggestions are well noted but nowadays you know a lot of new new things have come up like for example search engine optimization search engine marketing influencer marketing content automation so all these things you know maybe many of the hotels are not aware of in india maybe somewhere some maybe like ig and hyatt will be doing it the smaller chains hotels and restaurants may not be doing it so uh, like you know i the main question comes to you from my side is that you know guys you like um, guys like you are you all confident of taking the digital marketing if it has been outsourced you know basically there is not like before it's just not printing a poster or uh, putting it in the pamphlets in facebook more than that digital marketing has nothing more to do it's like ebooks so lot to know i i mean we are not prepared for it many of them i'm just trying to give the information like you know just uh, getting some information from west and just sharing with you so uh, it's a good point that you know we have to read go to the basics and start working on it what you all have said is and what you have said is 100% right plus uh, anything more to add from your side thomas yes we know i don't deny the fact that some of them are already doing this but what i would like to state is that digital marketing or digital platform presence is the need of the hour there is no doubt about it and how these hoteliers can utilize their time now they have to utilize this time more productively they can prepare themselves for a better tomorrow because the next innings is coming so they have to be prepared and they can add some values as i said in the beginning they can concentrate on their branding rebranding activity revamp their website add relevant contents to their website make it more visually attractive by doing some photo shoot video shoot so these are the things which they can start with and see we have time constraint here as a discussion so we are not in a position to go deep into this subject we are touching the peripheral so uh, definitely uh, digital marketing is an inevitable factor for the hoteliers as of now and uh, definitely there should be a budget for it there is no point in doing a cost cutting on the budget on the digital marketing stuff or, or on the overall marketing stuff irrespective of the fact that uh, we are having a challenging situation and one more thing uh, i would like to say give some importance for your packaging design uh, in fact from vinyard hospitality we are supporting some of the brands for their packaging 
uh, we, we do the uh, design support uh, from our end. Uh, in fact, I would like to share a small video just to get a feel of it, please. Many of yes, the people yes. are not technically, they don't understand, you know, we say about SOE or what do you call it, CEO, search in marketing, content, but one thing I agree, content is the guru now, because unless if you are content and visual media, like many of the people have come for virtual tools, you know, the shootings and everything, and we are also, my company also getting some requirements of virtual shootings, basically talking over for the products, we are also doing good blogging, so that visual thing is, uh, uh, you know, big thing which can make a lot of changes in the digital media. I think I added up what you have, uh, thing. anything more, so before I, one an interesting question before we wind up, uh, because this is what I know that we are all part and parcel, because Thomas is a vendor, he is also suffering, we also don't have customers, and I am also suffering, just a thought process from your side, I don't want you to represent your company as such, any uh, request to the government uh, authorities, you know, something uh, you can, I know the COVID, Something from your point, some request, you know, basically, uh, Girish, we have been discussing before this, before Anand joined, because we are the first one who joined. Girish, you gave a very good point. So uh, that's why I asked you to, you know, I, I didn't know I had this question before. So uh, Thomas also has been dealing with, I know, because big businessmen down in Kerala and politicians and whatnot, just if you want to hear also your thoughts, it's a common forum. So question is open, you know, to, I, we want to survive. Like Anand has said, survival is that. Anything that you look for from the government, no controversy is meant. Something that you feel that apart from vaccination, everything is up. Apart from that, the industry specific, would you like to throw some ideas? Your own thought process, I don't want you to claim the company ideas as from your perspective, personal opinions. Girish? Oh, yeah, so yeah. You can start. Yeah, as go ahead, Thomas. Uh, Thomas, please start from your side. Can I go ahead? Yes, so uh, see, the government side, definitely we are expecting some kind of a support from the central government and state respective state government to boost uh, the industry. There will be packages, uh, but uh, uh, government also got their own challenges because the situation is not, uh, this is not on, on priority for them. Uh, but uh, probably as a group of uh, hoteliers or uh, association of hoteliers or even individually, uh, in fact, uh, we were uh, uh, proposing one idea to make our country a tourist-friendly country. Because, uh, see, uh, thankfully, our country is a no-nonsense place for travelers, but we need to go far ahead. So making a campaign, it should reach to the, uh, even to the villages, even to the small uh, places. And definitely we need to request to the government uh, to give uh, some kind of uh, packages to make this as a, as a, what do you say, as a campaign. And it should reach to entire India. And uh, with the help of the hoteliers, having some kind of campaigns and uh, what do you say, promos, maybe making some celebrities to talk about all this and make India a, a 
travel or a, a tourist friendly country so that is uh, something which uh, definitely will make a lot of difference uh, and and again uh, there also we are coming back to our subject only these things are easily possible uh, through our digital media only so that's a point i i, I wanted to add uh, separately I think um, Thomas, you are saying that you have to experience India to the you know visiting villages, traditions, natural food, and everything. You know, when you like like European tours, there is something like that, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right, Girish. Yeah. Um, adding to what Thomas has mentioned, uh, to achieve that, we should first get our tourism uh, to be recognized in our constitution as an industry status. like how you have sme Very msme true. it industry services sector we still come at a services sector unless and until we move into an industry within the services sector then the whole lot of capital inflows take place uh, gestation period for loans for the owners take place um, capital intensive uh, taxes um, get uh, um, benefits um, the industry status will uh, have more uh, a uh, positive outlook for the bank loans uh, to get dispersed in a larger uh, form once these things come in place uh, then obviously uh, then the tourism industry gets uh, more um, leverage to promote uh, us as a tourist friendly state tourist friendly nation till now it is just a state subject uh, so it needs to move in a larger platform like dubai like hong kong like uh, taiwan Uh, they are all completely driven by uh, the industry status um, uh, support given by the federal government or uh, private uh, institutions that support the federal government which or way it is so that's something that they will still have to look into it uh, to further improve the logistics infrastructure and uh, the support uh, for the tourism development thank you i think uh, to conclude i would like to say that you know the discussion deliberated uh, the challenges and the opportunities basically uh, in ever expanding uh, digital marketing space you know because and i really say that you know we all need a renders learning in this uh, one cannot overrule that you know technology is must and uh, we have to take a technology related approach to evaluate from what we were in previous years to now no no softwares has to be uh, you know uh, thought of implementing uh, uh, new ideas digital platforms like i said about ebooks like optical disc i mean a lot of you know a lot of things can happen and you know and india as such uh, has to evolve a lot and the west is also evolving and we can't uh, make ourselves in the back uh, if we want to you know uh, get the industry back on shape and we do understand that you know it's very dreadful to need to keep uh, abreast of the latest developments what's happening all over the world in digital marketing space and uh, we need to accept technology as a need of the hour we can't take a shy away and we have to invest money and i know that you know many people are very uh, not very sure how much they invest uh, how, sh- how much should they invest uh, is a website that i am dealing with some companies and small ch- chota dukan also not chota because they are do- doing business we know how this hospitality industry is not organized like any other industry if you guys have much more organized small uh, guys who do does a good business they don't know the value of a website but still they have gone and had a type with uh, somato and they have their challenges some people still so entire industry has to be regrouped thought some good thought process has to come in uh, you know what are the areas we need to invest like suppose like thomas said uh, responsible tourism i would like in kerala government has started with the concept for responsible tourism i think that will i think stephen is as i mean uh, said about yesterday so i think this one responsible tourism will be and kerala tourism is also planning to hit it very uh, high in uh, digital space that's what i was i read in the paper so a lot of things to have you know and moreover uh, by digital marketing the funda i would say personally is that you have to create a trust in the customers you can't give wrong information because that's going to backfire as anand said you know and, uh, uh, and obviously it's a big challenge and the credibility factor is always there and we have to create a big experience for the customers not like not like before it's just an experience you know they don't get that experience what we preach we are uh, bad so uh, i personally speaking uh, the industry has to be more organized the chart team has to put a lot of money in training getting the right staff 
the minimum wage now all this thing has to come because this industry we know how it is operating so get the good quality people and uh, you know i request all of you the veterans of the industry i could only get uh, some people from south uh, all of you can think like and we and we have to survive this because hospitality industry has been our uh, food for our uh, years and i request everyone to work hard and be blessed and stay safe thank you very much each one of you for joining for our discussion and i really understand how much busy you are and thanks for accepting my invitation and joining thanks once again thank you all right thank you thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody thank you. Thank you. bye bye thank you thank you